How are we doing, everyone? I hope everyone is blessed. This is Patrick, In Time Watchman. Thank you, everyone, that's commented and supported my last video. You guys are amazing. I believe that our Lord and Savior is coming back soon, and I believe all the signs are pointing that direction. I just did not plan on doing a video today, but I found something, and it's really interesting. So it's going to be a quick video today. My wife had an appointment. Um, everything went good. But unfortunately, you know, me working third shift, that as soon as I got home, I pretty much had to take her to the appointment. We literally just got back. So right after this video, I plan on getting a few hours of sleep before another night of work. So thank you for everyone that's reached out and was concerned and has been keeping us in your prayers. It's very appreciative. And if you have prayers, put them in the comments. All right. So what did I get into? Is this the one I want to start at? No. Let's see. Here we go. All right. From the Ring of Fire eclipse on October 14th of last year, going to the total solar eclipse that's going to happen here in about two weeks, three weeks, right around there, is 177 days. All right. 177. And we'll get into the pictures real quick. So there's a picture of the Ring of Fire eclipse that happened on October 14th. You can see it's almost like an engagement ring right on S. Well, I say Esther, Virgo the Virgin's uh, ring finger. So I thought that was really interesting. Then we know that the uh, April 8th eclipse happens right there in Pisces, and the fish are related to Esther. I got ahead of myself there. So that's related to Esther. Then you can see the Devil's Comet right in about the uh, call that what, the 11 o'clock position from Pisces, and that may make an appearance as the sky darkens. We may be able to see it. It might be visible, so I think that would be awesome. That's if, even if we're there for that. Um, I'm not sure if we will be. I believe things are looking as if we might be going very soon. All right, and then before we get into it, because we're going to be mentioning this, here is the Revelation 12 sign from September 23. 2017 so coming up on seven years all right so there's a there's the three signs we're looking at plus one all right so let's go back to that so from october 14th call that the engagement the ring of fire eclipse going to the eclipse that x's out america the beginning and the end the elephant in the tav uh is 177 days all right, so let's get into what else I found. So I said, I wonder how many days it is from the October 7th massacre in Israel going out 177 days. And you land on March 31st, Resurrection Sunday of this year. And I said, okay, that's a coincidence. That's really cool. And we're also looking at March 31st. Um, I know Mark Ellison is uh, 88 is also looking at this day as um, like a, like a, not another 9-11 type event happening on that day. And I believe that he may be correct from the things that I found as well. So then I was like, I wonder if we do 177 days going forward from Resurrection Sunday. Uh, others call it Easter. Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday going out 177 days. You come to the seventh year anniversary of the Revelation 12 sign. So, so we first get this timeline by these two very, I believe they're going to be very significant eclipses. You get 177 days. With those 100, using those 177 days, going out from Resurrection Sunday, you come to the Revelation 12 sign, the seven, you know, seven's a huge number with God, the seven year anniversary of that sign. It's a once in a 7,000 year sign. So it's incredible that this is going to be the seventh anniversary this year. Now going back 177 days, you come to the October uh, 7th massacre in Israel. Or is there going to be another type attack on Resurrection Sunday or Easter Sunday? I believe a lot of signs are pointing toward that. Now the day before... Repo Man 64 may be right that they are going to sacrifice that red heifer. 
will we even be here for that? You know, that's maybe that happens. And then, you know, judgment comes uh, the very next day on the 31st into the first. And then, you know, whatever hap- whatever is going to happen already happened. And then America's X out. So I kind of did the timeline here so you can visualize it. So from the ring of fire eclipse going to the total solar eclipse next month, 177. Going from the October 7th massacre to this resurrection Sunday next week, it's 177. Going out 177 days from resurrection Sunday takes you to the seven year anniversary of the Revelation 12 sign, which is a once in a 7,000 year sign. So I believe that this is uh, incredible. I believe that it is all pointing toward Resurrection Sunday. Now what's interesting about that, we go to Matthew here. So this is Matthew 27, 50. Jesus, when he cried again, that kind of reminded me of like the voice of the archangel. Jesus, when he had cried again, with a loud voice yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Now this would be on Friday. So this would be on Friday, because this is during the crucifixion that this happened. Jesus gave up the ghost on the cross. There was a huge earthquake. The veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to bottom. And then the graves burst open. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Now we go to the next verse. And came out of the graves, but not till after his resurrection. So the dead in Christ seems like the graves burst open on the day of the cross which Repo Man 64 has it on March 30th. Uh, Rock Island Books has it on April 8th, the actual day of the eclipse. So this kind of throwing that out there, I believe that it was March 30th. And, And they came out of the graves, all right, this is the dead saints, which awoke on the day of the crucifixion, came out of the graves after his resurrection, that would be on March 31st. All those days, the 177 is pointing toward that day and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So what else I thought was interesting is during Noah's flood, you know, like the days of Noah, on 717, so there's your 177. You can see it right there at top. So the 177 is the day that the, the ark rested. That would be... I believe the 150 days, that would be uh, to the cross, I believe, uh, Repo Man 64's timeline. So kudos to you, Repo Man. It looks like all these signs that I just found, the 177 is the 7th month, 17th day, literally pointing toward the cross. And Resurrection Sunday is, um, I know you have it on March 30th, and so this would be like the night, the evening of, But, you know, obviously, March 31st, we're celebrating the resurrection on Sunday. So I thought that was really interesting that it's all lining up. And like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video uh, with these signs that we had the, uh, I call it the engagement ring eclipse. Then we have the total solar eclipse and then we had from the October 7th massacre going to 331.24. And that's important because, uh, where's it at? Right here, you have the 911. We've seen this before with the Twin Pines Mall. And then you go over here to Lone Pines Mall and you got 331. And everything uh, in this movie was pointing toward this year. And then you go to Stranger Things. None of this is coincidence, by the way. They just happen to show us uh, a clock that says 133.24, but backwards, just like Back to the Future, it would be 331.24. So what is going to happen on this day? Here's a little better image of it. I believe that something is going to happen. And, you know, Jesus gave us a warning seven years ago. 
gave us the Revelation 12 sign. He gave us the first eclipse, which is going to, um, this next eclipse in April is going to mark the X. You can see it here, the Aleph and the Tav across America. And then he also gave us the I'm coming written literally in the states that the 2017 eclipse went through. I am coming. Idaho, Missouri, Carolina, Oregon, Montana, Illinois, Nebraska, Georgia. I'm coming. That was seven years ago. Now we have all these signs pointing toward March 31st. So I hope everyone is blessed. Thank you, like again, for all the support, encouragement. If you have prayers, put them in the comments. I love you guys, and I believe that we are going home soon. So look up. Our redemption is drawing nigh.